Hi and welcome to week 30. I cannot believe that I'm 30 weeks today. So it's a public holiday. It's the Queen's birthday. Happy birthday Queen. Thanks for the day off work. And thanks for the sunshine. We've had a week of massive rain and it's been horrible. And today it's just beautiful so we need to make sure we get out and do some stuff. This week has been a uh, pretty thrilling week. Um, we had our, my eldest in hospital on Tuesday night. He's fine, it's uh, nothing terribly serious, but um, yeah, we had him in the hospital and that day after, after he finished after school when he got taken to the hospital, we were at the hospital in the waiting room from four in the afternoon and we didn't get a bed for him until 12.30 that night. So we were in the waiting room for eight plus hours and it was so exhausting. I was sitting on a hard chair, my butt was hard. And he was anxious and uncomfortable and it was, it was not the best night. Um, and then when we finally did get a room, a lot of the kids in the ward obviously really really sick crying screaming and he was just even even more anxious anxious about all of that so the sound and the and the light affected him so I ended up giving him my rain music and plugging it in his ears and shoving a couple pillows over his head and he got to sleep and he was fine but I was really really stressed and I had a tiny little pull out bed next to him with the mattress was this probably that thin <laughs> I think I probably got four hours sleep in the whole the whole 24 to whatever hours I was there probably a day and a half that I was there I got four hours sleep and I did the morning after when the nurse came around and was doing his vitals I said can you check my blood pressure just to make sure because you know so my blood pressure is normally 90 over 60 or 100 over 60 during this part of pregnancy, um, which is really kind of low, but it's still good. It went up to 120 over, 125 over 85, so for me that was pretty high and I was a bit stressed about that because I had a headache and my head didn't stop pounding and then I thought maybe it's because I haven't drunk enough water so I just a couple of Panadol, downed heaps of water tried to just breathe and relax and then the headache went away so I was fine and then the day after when I came home I got my blood pressure checked again and it was um, 112 over 69 so it had come down which is good because my fear of course is preeclampsia but I mean I'm not prone to it I didn't have it with the first two kids and I'm pretty healthy I guess so I didn't expect that I would get it but I was it still wasn't on the back of my mind um, all good so I've got no swelling or anything like that blush blood pressure is fine headaches gone and yeah I survived um, the last month or so actually I've keep forgetting to, to mention this in my updates but every morning I wake up and I have bloody snot not ah bloody snot but actually bleeding snot like blood snot it's terrible I know it's a symptom of a pregnancy but you wake up in the morning and your nose is just full of hard blood and then you bleed your nose and it's just blood and it's like ah, this is terrible so yeah I have had a lot of bloody snot um, and my heartburn this week has come finally come and attacked me um, it hasn't been that bad at all this pregnancy um, but the last few nights I've actually had a heartburn and I've actually needed to have Tums. It's okay this morning, but yeah, last night before bed it was horrible. Um, and the movements I'm getting now are so big. I was what we were sitting on the couch watching a movie last night, and on this side it's just going that, that, and I'm just like, oh, this really hurts. <gasps> ouch, ouch. For me, it hurts. I know everyone likes to see their baby going like this. <laughs> like an alien but trust me I don't really like the feeling of it I'm like okay settle down I my skin's tight enough as it is I can just feel every single movement because it's just so tight um, 3d scan is on Sunday so six days away 
I can't wait. <laughs> That's going to be exciting. I'll um, I'll wait and do my my update next Sunday after I do the um, 3D scan so I can at least show some pictures. And there's a steam train. <laughs> the, some week we, we live right on the South Line, so some weekends they have fun um, fun steam train rides with the kids and on I think it's like the whole weekend back and forth back and forth steam trains um, and a lot of the time it'd be like doo, doo, tuk, 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 tuk. exciting <laughs> um, okay encap encapsulation I am sure a lot of you have heard about encapsulation if you haven't I can explain what it is when after the baby's born obviously the placenta has to be born as well but this time around I've decided to do encapsulation so what they do is the baby is born then when I'm, I'm not gonna I'm not going to clamp straight away you wait let don't do the clamping let the placenta um, come out be birthed first and then let it pump and let it pump all the blood out for a while first then you can have delayed clamping and get the placenta put it um, in a ziplock and in on ice and I'm I've already booked to have it taken away then the lady who is taking it away is going to first of all they make a print on a piece of paper and it's like the placenta and umbilical cord so it's like the tree of life it makes the print it looks like a tree so they'll, they'll do a print for me and then they'll try it out um, and a small bit of the placenta they'll use for a shake which I'll probably you know just have a almond milk banana smoothie with honey or something nice like that and the rest of it gets fully dried out and blended into powder form and then gets put into capsules and then she'll bring that all back to me so hopefully I'll get it back within a couple days after after the baby's born and then I can straight away drink the shake and then the capsules are used to uh, for me to take and they should last for a couple months two to three months and what what that will be good for is to a stop personal postnatal depression well help with avoiding postnatal depression help with milk supply not that I really need help but you know it'll up my milk supply anyway um, it'll also give me iron and a lot of vitamins and minerals that I'll need it'll help with all of that sort of stuff it'll help with my mood it's really like a mood upper it's a whole body upper and I've, yeah I've decided to do that so that's all booked in and as soon as I go into labor I guess the people will get called and and then as soon as the placenta is ready to take away they can take it away and do their thing and bring it back so that's gonna be interesting I didn't do it for the first two kids and I did have postnatal depression with Ethan really really bad and I had a little bit with Logan um, not as much but with Ethan I suffered and I'm guessing with the seven year gap between Logan and this baby I mean I haven't had a lot of pregnancy hormones in me so knowing me I'm a moody kind of person so I reckon I'll probably will go into the whole postnatal depression thing but positive thinking I won't and I will try my hardest to stay positive and hopefully with the whole encapsulation thing um, that will help um, weight wise I'm still around 64 I actually was just watching some videos from Logan when I had him my update when I was nine weeks I only did a couple because I was so overweight when I was pregnant with Logan that I just gave up on my wasn't so confident I didn't feel didn't feel like doing updates I guess I was also really really busy with work but when I was nine weeks I was 66 kilos and I had lost some weight so I actually started the pregnancy with Logan at 69 69 70 kilos um, whereas this time I started at 57 kilos and right now I'm 64 kilos at 30 weeks and at nine weeks with Logan I was 66 kilos and 
94 centimeters waist and I'm sure I'm around 95 but anyway right now so oh yeah I was a lot lot bigger back back, back then there goes another train so I will do belly measurement I'm sure it's similar to last week Right. Oh, you got a close up this time. Oh, wow. Hello, 98. 98 centimeters close to 99. So, 98 this week, which is like 38 and a half inches. Wonderful. That's it. Oh, and I guess I can do the... Well, nothing's changed. Uh, I, I am starting to get this line just a tiny bit. Like, people get the little line that goes from up here all the way down to there. But, yeah, I'm only getting a faint, the faintest line just here, but hardly much line. And there's Billy's side on. Billy, Billy! So that's it. 30 weeks. Oh, seven more weeks of work, including this week. So I can't believe it's nearly time to be finishing work and that we will have a little baby here in the next two months. So that's kind of scary. Exciting. Actually, exciting and scary. But I can't wait for her to arrive because I actually want my body back. I want it back. Um, I, yeah, I miss, I miss gymming big time. I mean, I still gym, but hardly much. Full on. I mean, I'm, I want to gym full on. I miss gymming full on. I miss a lot of the things I, you know, can usually do. But yeah, I do want my body back. But apart from that, I'm still feeling good. All good. That's it for this week, and welcome to the 30s. 30, floaty, and thriving. <laughs> Bye.